uh, Luke Taylor made an interesting video um, where he asked the question, what is justice? Is justice the cessation of harm or is justice the infliction of harm? It's an interesting question to ask. You know, it doesn't have to be one or the other, but it, it's a good starting point for some thoughts on victim, victimhood, scapegoating, this sort of thing. Now, I'll go back to um, a quote that I raised before Aldous Huxley. It's uh, from a satirical novel, Chrome Yellow, but it's, and, and it's meant to be read that way. It's slightly tongue-in-cheek, the, the quote, but there's an element of truth in it. Um, and it deals with victimhood, scapegoating, and hidden motives, and motives that we may even be hiding from ourselves. The surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they will have a chance at maltreating someone. To be able to destroy with good conscience, to be able to behave badly and call your bad behavior righteous indignation, in quotation marks, this is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. What does that say about victimhood? If we have somebody that we can identify as a victim, by default we've established that there's something of a perpetrator, right? So how does that color our view of the perpetrator? Are they fair game now for bad behavior? Are they fair game to be harmed? Or are they, have they moved at least in that general direction? Um, I'm curious as to how that would work and to what the sort of intersection is between victimhood slash scapegoating and harm. They have harmed others, therefore we should harm them. Okay, fair enough. I can see the logic behind that deterrence. Um, but by the same token, does it feed something else inside of us? Like people who go to watch public hangings. Um, people who would go to the arena in ancient Rome and watch criminals get torn to pieces in the uh, halftime show, as it were, in the Circus Maximus. You know, criminals, rapists, things like that would die horribly, the worst possible death in the Circus Maximus. Uh, it was called Damnatio ad bestias, um, condemned to the beasts, where you'd have to fight like a group of hyenas or a tiger or something like this. And this was, this was reserved for criminals, and the larger society would get to drool over these people being torn to pieces by animals. And, you know, you could tell yourself that, yeah, this is happening because these bad people deserve it, but you get the impression that few people's salivary glands might be going into overdrive when they see this happening. Now, I'm not saying that I condemn people for being that way, for lo watching people get horribly treated. Um, but what I would say is, don't hide it. Don't try and pretend like it's something that it isn't. Um, don't say that you're being good when actually you're feeding your inner demon. You're just saying that this person is a legitimate target for my sadism, right? Even if it is sort of vicarious. You're not even actually doing anything. You're just watching it happen. Um, would you enjoy two minutes alone with the uh, criminal of your choice and a few instruments of torture and this criminal is tied up and helpless? Never mind, would it be fair? Would you enjoy it? Would something in you enjoy it? I don't even expect an answer to that. Just think about it, and what does it say about our ideas of scapegoating, victimhood, and punishment?